Hi everyone. We had a very unfortunate incident that happened at the World Juniors Girls 2022 in Italy that's going on right now. On your screen, you can see one of India's brightest young talents, WGM Priyanka Nutaki. She's rated 2326 and she was one of the favorites to win a medal at the tournament. She started as the eighth seed and something quite unfortunate happened. So what happened? Uh, Priyanka started off with a score of 4 out of 5. She played uh, pretty well. She had 2 wins, then 2 draws, then a win again. And in the 5th round, she was facing against Gover, Gover Beidulayeva from Azerbaijan. And Priyanka had the white pieces. And let's just have a look at the game. So... Not entirely in depth, but I'll take you through the key moment of the game. So it started with d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, b6. And we had this Queen's Indian on the board with e4 takes c5, where, you know, white had a very strong center. Black had sort of good development. Knight d5 was a good move here. She went knight d7, a4, quite a normal position. And at some point, Priyanka started to maybe get some initiative. But black was doing okay. And in this position, out of the blue, black decided, Gohar decided that she should sacrifice an exchange. Priyanka took it. And I don't know what she missed here because now white is simply an exchange up. And Priyanka played very well. She uh, broke on the queen side, exchanged pawns. And everything was done quite well. And in came this beautiful sacrifice, rook b7, queen b7 and queen takes g5. Now threatening a mate here and also the knight. Knight e2 check. King went to f1. King h2 was best, but king f1. Now check, good move. Because if you take with the pawn or with the queen, there's a check and you lose the bishop, also preventing a mate. So king g1 was played. And now uh, seeing that knight e2 will be met with king h2. Here Gohar played check. King here, knight f1, queen d3 check, g3, queen takes d4. And a very nice move now. Check on b4, king g8 and h6. At this point... Black resigned because after g6, queen f6, it's a forced mate on g7. So with this very nice game, Priyanka won and moved to 5 out of 6. But at this point, what happened was uh, there was a fair play check that happened. When the games end, often uh, the arbiters come and say, okay, we need to do some kind of a mandatory play, fair play check. And uh, it so happened that from Priyanka's jacket, these airpods were found and uh, what happened then well the point is according to the fair play rules she had to be given a loss and also she was expelled from the tournament but the case was studied carefully and after that fide made a statement which was an unfortunate incident occurred towards the end of sixth round of the girls world junior championships in sardinia during a routine check, one of the players, Priyanka Nutaki, was found to have a pair of earbuds in her jacket pocket. While there is no indication of foul play on her part, earbuds are strictly forbidden in the playing hall. Carrying these devices during a game is a violation of fair play policies and uh, it is penalized with the loss of the game and expulsion from the tournament. The point scored by Nutaki in the sixth round has been awarded to her rival Gohar Beidalu uh, Dulayeva and the Indian delegation filed an appeal but the appeals committee reconfirmed the decision. So this is how things panned out uh, and it's very important to note that Fide says that there was no indication of foul play here. So it was an honest mistake that was made by Priyanka. Swayam Smishra, who is the coach of the Indian team, and Kavita J.E., both are trainers, they made a statement uh, to Chessbase India and they said, In round 6 of World Juniors, Priyanka Nutaki kept the earbuds in her jacket. She forgot to remove them before coming to the tournament hall. Hence, she was removed from the tournament. 
As mentioned in the FIDE report, there was no indication of foul play. However, the decision was that she cannot be a part of the tournament anymore. It's a very unfortunate incident, but we respect the decision and agree that everyone has to abide by the rules. This was the statement by Swayams and Kavita. And then finally, we also reached out to Priyanka for her uh, statement and she sent in a detailed one where she said, I went for a walk in the morning and took my earbuds and left them in the jacket. I subconsciously took the same jacket to the tournament hall, completely forgetting the fact that I put the earbuds in them. I only realized when the random check happened. I want to mention a few things here. One, I was totally following the security protocols, including the security check by carrying the same jacket, but somehow no alarm was raised and no metal was detected. Since I was playing on board two, my board was completely under video surveillance all the time. And third, transmission of the game is delayed by 15 minutes. The whole time I didn't realize that the jacket I was carrying had earbuds in it. I did only realize this during the random security check post the game. This was an unfortunate and unintentional mistake from my side, but I abide by the fact that carrying electronic devices like earbuds and watches are not allowed inside the hall. I'm glad and obliged that FIDE has mentioned in the report that no indication of foul play was found. As per the rules, I won't be allowed to play in this tournament and I respect the decision and my supporter. Uh, uh, however, I sincerely want to apologize to my family, my coach, my federation, my friends and my supporters for this honest mistake from my side. There is no denial that I'm upset. However, I don't want this one inc incident to define me. I assure to work hard and come back stronger. So this was the statement by Priyanka. Uh, and uh, yes, she had, I think she was one of the biggest medal hopes for India at the World Juniors. But after this uh, inc unfortunate incident, she would not be playing. From this, uh, a few things to be learned is that the current scenario of the chess world is such that cheating measures, anti-cheating measures are very strictly applied. And I think uh, as chess players, you have to be very careful whether you are wearing a watch, carrying something with you. It could be that you have no intention to cheat, that, that you don't have any such intentions, but you still have to be very careful while following the rules. As for Priyanka, I hope that she bounces back stronger from this and will play well in her future tournaments. For now, this is Sagasha signing off. Bye-bye.